guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jill and today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite fantasy books. So let's get started. So very recently I did a favorite retellings video. I will link that up in the cards if you want to go check that out. And in that video I asked you guys what recommendation videos you wanted to see next and overwhelmingly I got the answer fantasy, which I am completely all for because fantasy is my favorite genre. Some of my favorite books are fantasy and literally this entire shelf from top to bottom is fantasy. So I have a crap ton of choices um, for this video and so I'm so excited because like I said fantasy is my favorite genre and now I get to fangirl about some of my favorite books ever. Yeah so let's just get right on into it. So I anticipate what I'm going to say next is going to be pretty confusing but bear with me because it'll make sense um, once I get started. So I decided I had all these different books that I wanted to recommend and I decided to put them into basically four different categories. The reason I did this is because if one of you guys out there has never read fantasy before and you want to get into fantasy, I have a category which is basically like the perfect books to read if you've never read fantasy before and then I have basically from that level going up to like what I call epic fantasy which is like insane amount of fantasy and if you've never read fantasy before then you don't want to start with like this very very upper region of fantasy in my opinion because it'll be really confusing, it's going to be really hard to get into. You can always try but I just in my experience that's sort of the way it goes. I don't know if that makes sense but I split up I split it up into like four categories. Like I said I have like the lower grade category which is perfect for people who've never heard fantasy before which is sort of like urban fantasy. And next up I have just normal fantasy then I have high fantasy and epic fantasy and like I said it's just sort of an ascending order of the level of fantasiness that it is. Honestly, these are completely arbitrary categories. These are just like based on my own personal opinion. So literally there's like no logic to this other than in my own head. So don't like go around quoting this because I just made these categories completely around the books that I picked. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and being very confusing. It'll start making sense. Let's go into it. Also, before I get started, I think it is universally acknowledged that Harry Potter is the fantasy series, but I'm not going to really included in this video because if you've never read Harry Potter before, I think you already know that you should get on that. The first set of books I'm going to recommend in the lower grade fantasy category is The Air Chronicles by Cinda Williams Chime. Obviously there are five books in this series and this definitely falls into the category of urban fantasy, which if you don't know what that means, basically there is magic, but it is set in the real world. So The Air Chronicles are a ton of fun. Basically the magic system in this book revolves around the fact that there are five magical guilds. There are warriors, wizards, enchanters, sorcerers, and seers. And basically each one of these books follows a different character of of a different denomination of one of those guilds. I think it's fun, I think it's fast paced. Is it like the best fantasy series I've ever read in my entire life? No, but I do think that it is lots of fun and I definitely recommend it to anyone first getting into fantasy. So the Air Chronicles were originally supposed to be a trilogy, so it was supposed to stop after these books, but then Cinder Williams Charma decided to extend it and added these more two books and these are by far my favorites in the series. I just loved the characters that these two books followed. So like this is, these. The original trilogy is pretty good but this I think is far far better in my opinion so yeah that's just a little info on the Air Chronicles. Next up I have a Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and the reason why this book is in the lower grade category is because I shelve this book under my contemporary books. I don't shelve it with the rest of my fantasy books because Rainbow Rowell is a contemporary writer. She wrote Fangirl and Eleanor and Park. If you've heard of her she is a very very famous contemporary author and this is her fantasy novel but I still feel like it reads a a lot like a contemporary. Also this book is really fun because it's sort of a twist on a fan fiction about Harry Potter. It's basically Draco Harry fan fiction and it's so wonderful. Basically if you've read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, the main character Kath writes fan fiction on this world's Harry Potter series and it's called Simon Snow and this book is basically Rainbow Rowell's fan fiction on the fan fiction. Um, it's it was so good. It was adorable. Like I said it's like Harry Draco fan fiction and it works so well and I just love it and it's like a very magic system that's similar to Harry Potter so if you liked Harry Potter you would like this and I don't agree with people who say that this is too much like Harry Potter because yes it is based on Harry Potter so they're going to have similarities but I still think it holds its own I really liked it. The last book I have in this lower grade fantasy category is Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. Now this is a middle grade and that's why it is in this lower grade category. Um, I still think that it was so fun 
I'm like, I'm almost 18 years old, okay, and I loved this book. So if you don't want to read middle grade because you think you're too old for it, you're lying, you could definitely get things out of this book. This book is so adorable. It basically follows this girl named Alice, and she is colorless, and her entire world is filled with color. Basically, her father goes missing, and she decides to venture in the land of Furthermore to try to find him, and she teams up with this boy, and it's really great. It was lots of fun. Like I said, it is middle grade, so it's not like crazy into the fantasy genre and even if you're like not a fan of fantasy and you just want a fun story this is definitely the one to pick up so now moving on to the one step higher category and this is just normal fantasy like I said there's honestly no rhyme or reason to my categories it's just like what I personally felt as far as the magic and the epicness of the tales so just keep that in mind again first series that I have is a brand new favorite of mine and that is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This entire series, actually I've only read the first two books so I can't say the whole series but I'm pretty sure the last book is going to be so good but this series is freaking phenomenal. I love it so so much. The magic system is so cool in this book. It is so, 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 so cool. Basically, this book follows a guy named Kel, and he lives in this world where there are parallel Londons. And Kel is one of the only two people who can travel between these Londons, and he uses blood magic, which basically means he, like, cuts his hand and, like, draws symbols on the door and then, like, says spells into them, and it's just, I love blood magic. Like, the concept of it is really cool to me. Plus, just, like, the characters, like, Kel and Rai and Lila, and this book just has the best best characters and the best magic system. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, and also one more thing. This is adult fantasy. I don't think, th I think that it could very easily be categorized in the YA thing. There's nothing like extremely vulgar or anything about it, but just if you're wondering, this is an adult fantasy book. And the last book in this fantasy category that I'm going to talk about is The Six of Crows Duology by Lee Bardugo. So it is no secret that these books are fantastic. They're some of my favorite books ever. Crooked Kingdom was my second favorite book of last year. It was so, so, so good and I love this series so much. You guys are probably wondering why I didn't mention the Grisha Trilogy because that is definitely way more fantasy oriented. Um, but I personally didn't like the Grisha Trilogy, so we're not going to talk about it. This has a little bit of fantasy in it, but it honestly doesn't have a ton. It is in a fantasy world, and that's why I decided to include it in this video. Um, but mostly this um, series focuses on the characters who don't have magic. Basically a heist novel, and it follows these six outcasts, and they basically go on these insane heists. Right? I mean, I like a few of the characters have magic, but it's just not a huge prominent thing in this world. Now we're going to get into the high fantasy category. So again, this is sort of like the third from the bottom, right? So this is getting really into the epic tales, right? First up, I'm going to recommend any book by Sarah J. Mass. Any book. If you have never read her books before, please just do it. Both of her series are high fantasy in my opinion and if you've read like the first few books in her Throne of Glass series and you're thinking how is this high fantasy? Just wait because once you get to like book five we're flying into high fantasy territory and this is obviously both of these series are fantastic. I'm not going to tell you what they're about because you should know and if not you should look them up because they're fantastic. The next two books that I'm going to recommend are actually by the same author. I'm just over the moon to get to talk about these two books. But the first one that I'm going to talk about is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lady Taylor. It was honestly like one of the first fantasy series that I read and obsessed over. Like I still remember because this was like year, like this was like three to four years ago. Is what I did was I took a shirt, like a plain white t-shirt that I had, and then I took a sharpie and drew a quote from these books onto the shirt, and I was so proud of it. But like it was. So so bad but like I loved it so much I'm pretty sure I threw it away after a while but I was obsessed with these books literally like they are too complicated to explain exactly what it is um, but Lady Taylor has a way with words I will get into that in my next recommendation by her but she writes in such a poetic rich wonderful way and so if you're not a fan of poetic writing these might not be for you but I would highly suggest reading them anyway because they are like literally works of art I love her books so much So 
my final recommendation in this high fantasy category is sort of the reason why I did this video because it is now one of my favorite books of all time and literally you guys are going to hear me talking about this book for forever so just get used to it now um, and that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Now this is an ARC which means it's an advanced reader copy which means that it is not out yet. It comes out I think in just like a week it comes out like at the end of March and this book was truly a masterpiece. Like literally I wrote this big long Goodreads review if you want to go check that out. I literally do not have words to describe how fantastic this story is. It is the most well written book I've ever read in my entire life. The writing in this is the is just pure gorgeous genius. I cannot even fathom how Lana Taylor had this in her head. It is truly just freaking fantastic. I like literally have run out of adjective used to describe this book because I've been talking to everyone that I know about it. It is amazing. It like made my heart so happy. It has quotes in here that I want to get like literally tattooed on my body. Like they have so many fantastic quotes in this book. Like I just, I literally, when I, this one part when I was reading it, I literally like let out a yell and fell to my knees and scraped my knees. That's how insanely committed to this book that I was. Please, please, I beg of you, if you take one thing away from watching this video, if you take one thing away, it is to pick this book up when it comes out. It is truly a masterpiece um, and just, just know that the writing style is very metaphorical, it's very beautiful, it's very poetic, and so it's going to take a while to get into. Like, Lainey Taylor talks in these elaborate metaphors, which I personally think are the most gorgeous things I've ever experienced, but I know that lots of people do not like poetic writing, but please just give it a chance and also I feel like you've read the first little bit of this and you're confused and you're like, I'm so confused. I don't want to continue. If you continue, oh Jesus Lord, it is so, so good. I, I'm going to stop talking because I could talk about it forever and I'm going to talk about it more in like every single video after this one. So, you know, please just read it. It's fantastic. Please, please, please. Now that that one's done, I'm going to have one more recommendation and this is the only one that's in the epic fantasy category and that is the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. Basically all of Brandon Sanderson's books, or especially like his adult books, I'm not sure about his YA series, but his adult books are all like epic fantasy. Like they are huge. You know you're dealing with like an epic fantasy book when it's like 700 pages and the font is minuscule. Basically that's when you know. Um, but this series is, might be my favorite favorite complete series of all time just because of how well written it is. Basically these are these certain people who can consume metals and the metals basically give them power like let's say pewter. If you consume pewter then you can burn pewter and you can become stronger. And normally people are only skilled in the one metal but if you are a mistborn then you can use all of the metals and you become the superhuman machine. This, this series is just perfect for anyone who wants to read about like humans. Like yes it is very very fantasy oriented but I think it does also deal with a lot of morals and things like that and I just loved it with all my soul I can't get over it I will always recommend this series for fantasy lovers because it is fantastic and the characters are great and this entire story was just so well crafted and Brandon Sanderson is truly an artist so there you guys have it that was my favorite fantasy books video I hope you guys enjoyed I'm sorry if the categories were confusing again they're just sort of arbitrary right that I decided to split these books up. So if they're confusing, just disregard them. Give this video a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below what next recommendation or favorite video that you guys want me to do. And also comment down below maybe your favorite fantasy book at the moment. I have my Goodreads, Twitter, Bookstagram, and personal Instagram all linked down below if you guys want to follow me on those platforms. And yeah, thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you guys later in another video. Bye!